Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can perform keyboard operation in Selenium. So till now we have used action chains class for mouse over, drag and drop, double click and right click, right? So today we are going to use the same class for keyboard operations as well. So let me show you the scenario. See, basically I'm trying to uh, perform some keyboard events on one of the application. But based on your requirement, you can change any of this, you know, keyboard events. I will show you with single operation with multiple operation. So it depends on your use case, you can change accordingly. Fine. So I will show you uh, like tab, enter, control A, control V, control C. So you will get one idea. And once you understood this concept, then you can implement in any language or I would say for any application as well. Okay. So if you're working with Java as well, the concept will remain same. It is just the class will change from action change to actions class. Fine. And if you're using different applications, so based on your behavior, you want to press tab, escape, enter. It's totally up to you. So let me quickly create a separate Python file. So let's create a new Python file. And I will say this is keyboard events. Then I will be using Chrome browser, but you can go ahead with any other browser. And I will be using web driver manager, which will automatically take care of the browsers driver. Fine. Uh, so this basically will download the latest Chrome driver and web driver Chrome will start a Chrome browser. I will quickly maximize this, which is using driver dot maximize window. Now I will pass the application URL. get in our case it's facebook okay so before we move uh, to action chains let me show you what exactly we are trying to do now so as you can see this is our application i'm taking facebook but you can take any application guys so the scenario is i will type something let's say i'm just typing mukesh okay after typing i will press ctrl a from the keyboard so it will highlight the complete text then i will press ctrl c tab ctrl v and then i will hit enter Okay, so we are actually trying to do multiple operations. One is single key, one is multiple key, which is control A, control V, control X, control P, it can be anything. Fine. So what I will do, I will go back to the main page. In order to get started, first I need to do some uh, send keys here, right? So I will just right click and I will quickly see the dome. And based on the dome, I will choose whether we have to go with XPath or CSS or any other locator. So let's inspect this. As you can see, we have name and ID. I will go with ID. But yeah, in your case, whatever locator you're going, concept will remain same. So just type driver dot find element by. So we are taking by class from Selenium by dot ID. And yes, email. Then I will type something. So I'm using send keys. Fine. Now in order to use actions or action chains we need to create object right so i will just type action chains control space twice and now we need to pass the driver as a inside the constructor fine now this will return me object which i will say act now here comes the main part now we have to press control a right so that it should highlight here so let's say i want to type mukesh now control a so first of all, we are going to press key down, then key up. That's simple. Okay. So I will say act dot key down because first of all, we want to press the key, right? So I will say key down, which key. So I will say key and again, control space twice. You can see I'm getting this keys from selenium dot web driver dot common dot keys. I will say control fine. Second key is our A, right? Control A. So I will say send keys A. So this is control A. Once you're done, you just need to say key up again. So I will say key up. And again, I will say key dot, sorry, keys dot control. And finally, you have to call the perform method. That's very easy. Let's try with this. If this works, then this combination will work for all the you know, possible scenarios which is control c then control v or control x then control v so let's try this so it will open facebook 
okay and maybe we will just give this one otherwise it will open in the native language then send something control a so let's run this and let's see how it works so it will maximize it will type and yes it did so you can see now the text is highlighted because of control a now i will press control c then i will press tab so same thing you can do um, just press again see you can do in one line as well just to make code looks little simpler and clean i am writing in multiple statement but you can write in one statement as well like you can call perform at the last and you can write everything into a single statement so once we are done control a i will say control c right because it has to copy now i will simply press the tab so it should come to the password and pressing a single key is very very easy guys you just need to say act dot send keys keys dot tab that's all and dot perform and finally we have to say control v right so instead of c i will say control v and finally we have to click on enter so let's try this first if this works then last operation will be just enter so again run this okay here we go it will be a little fast because we are not giving any pause and here we go it did control a control c then tab then control v and you can see that both is same now we just need to hit the enter so that i will do in the next line which is act dot send keys keys dot enter and finally dot perform and here we go so you can see i just took the first web element and i performed send keys after that whatever form filling i'm doing i'm just doing with the help of keyboard events so let's run this and if you are able to see this guys this is just a deprecated warning this i covered in one of my previous videos where we have used service objects so right now in this example i'm not using service because our main focus is on keyboard events but yes if you want to remove this deprecated warning you can use service class here so we are almost done it is just let's run once again and see the final output so i will again run this so yes it did uh, it typed okay and it performed the same operation control a control c can tap then control v and hit enter so that's very easy to perform so please give it a try and let me know if you are facing any other issue because the concept will remain same and the one thing that you have to notice that we are using keys class so if you can see here we have keys and then we have action chains and if you want to see what exactly is key so you can see it's a separate class and all these keyboard events as you can see these are the key codes for cancel help backspace tab clear return you can see all these key codes even for function keys so now let's say you want to write everything into one statement in that case how it will be let me show you just use this after this we just want to continue with this right so just copy and just put dot here so it will be in single sentence okay after that i just want to perform dot send keys and tab right so just copy this and let's say dot this let me remove this additional dot after this i just want to do control v so i will just get this and you can see it's getting you know little lengthy so i will just break from here and i will also break from here finally it's control v now and now let's do final enter so dot enter just remove this additional dot and finally we are going to call a perform so i'm not going to i'm not calling perform every time and i'm not using act every time so it is now into single statement so let's break this again this one and finally this guy okay let's do it from here because enter is separate so we are doing control a then control c tab control v and everything into a single statement it is just i am writing into a new line 
so we are calling dot perform once here here we were calling every time and here we are just using ACT which is action change class object here we were using multiple time so first you try with this once you are comfortable then you go in this fashion and now if you run this the output will remain same if you want to give a try let me remove this okay it should launch it should type and yes okay that's all for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed this lecture i hope you got something new from this lecture if yes then please support this channel share this video with your colleagues subscribe this channel and if you find any other issue let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye